Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Shardpunk Verminfall. This is a game kind of like XCOM or Into the Breach. It's a turn-based tactics game. Uh, the keeper was provided by the publisher and I really appreciate that. This was recommended to me by a number of uh, commenters and I can see why it's, it's actually really cool. Also worth mentioning, it's like absurdly cheap. It's like $10 or 15 Canadian. Um, so it's worth noting that right away. I'm going to be playing it for about half an hour and you can check out a link in the description to, uh, see if you, if you want to check this game out. It's, uh, I, I've been liking it so far. It's supposed to be very like, um, punishing, but I haven't found that yet, but I mean, I only got through the tutorial, so it, it uh, makes sense that I would not have seen any kind of super punishing gameplay just yet. But um, so we've got a squad of three characters. These are three characters I kind of chose from a pool, but um, they're, the pool is not very large when I started. Um, this is a pool of characters that you're going to expand as you play. So there is meta progression, but I think it's meta progression in the form of variety, um, more so than making the game uh, easier on yourself. I have unlocks available. I thought I got all my unlocks. Looks like we got another medal. So you, you uh, by completing in-game achievements, you'll get medals, which you can use to upgrade uh, or get some of these team skills. Um, that's a bit more advanced. I don't even want to grab that yet right right now. So I did accidentally take my first turn. We're going to be doing an Overwatch. So um, yeah, we have Overwatch tactics in this game, and it's pretty important to use those if you can. Um, I, I, I kind of like, I do like Overwatch tactics. Um, I, I find it can take over the game if, uh, if not balanced correctly, but I, I have been enjoying the use of it in this game. This, uh, this level, this is the second level and it actually let me know before I joined, uh, or, or entered that it was going to be raining. And I was like, yeah, that would be cool. I'd like to see some rain, um, just for some nice vibes. This game's got really amazing. I gotta say, um, sound design. It's got some some good vibes. I'm going to turn the sound up just a little bit so you can hear it. It's not just like, uh, you know, white noise. It's also got a couple of extra drips and drabs in there. I, I really like that. So we're going to be putting all of our characters on Overwatch for now. Um, since I put them all on Overwatch next to each other, they gained a bonus. This was like a extra tactic that I discovered in the last session. Um, so here's our, our little robot. Our little robot provides a little bit of benefit, but mostly they're the thing that we're trying to protect. We're trying to get them through to uh, the end of the level, and uh, while we do so, like also obtain as many resources as we can. Um, mm, I kind of don't want to do anything right now, so I'm just going to move them once. It didn't seem to be a wait, but I'm not sure what we're what we're seeing yet. We haven't seen any enemy enemies just yet um and i'm trying to make sure i stay like behind cover and stuff you don't ha you can split divide your your turn amongst characters so like i you know each character will get two ap but i don't necessarily have to use those two ap right away if i move here though that's going to cost an ap and that means that they're not going to have anything else to do but i am trying to scout ahead to try and find the enemies oh i didn't mean to move our robot that's not a good place for for them so i'll move them over here and yeah we have cover tactics you might be seeing uh some of the, the, the little shield a lot of this is going to feel very familiar for anyone who's played an XCOM game or any kind of squad based uh, tactics game um so let's just uh, go ahead well actually she should be moving ahead and she should be staying behind, but I, I'm just gonna keep her on overwatch for now Same for him And as soon as we see some enemies that means we'll, we'll hopefully we'll be hitting them right away Um, so I actually don't want to be moving her. She's she's got a sniper rifle and it's very good It's got really really decent range So she's the one that we should be like holding back and she's even got a benefit to give her extra overwatch She's she's, she's got overwatch times three, right? Um, now it'll only work twice and I'll talk about why in a second But basically this is kind of a, a steampunk world um, So they're using these like weird fusion or energy based weaponry uh, And those weapons um, heat up as they fire So 
most weapons you'll see these bars in the bottom they have they have two heat bars of tolerance like once i shoot once it fills it up halfway shoot it against it, it's it's got the uh it's fully heated and therefore i can't use it anymore uh I, like i can but it's a risk-based thing and so but overwatch will generally like not want to it'll it'll not let you shoot again so um i've gone ahead and put our, our robot there there this is a um, one of the few abilities you kind of start with with this robot is it will um kind of create an area of effect that uh nullifies the heating up of your weaponry i'm not explaining it very well but um, basically heat is the thing you have to manage and i went ahead and managed it that's really the takeaway there i know i'm, sl I'm moving like painfully slow right now but i really don't want to move too far ahead because and expose one of my characters um like right now so i'm gonna move them there so that they still get an extra turn looks like they're we're not seeing anything i would love to get them over there but it's not looking like that's possible why don't we move them over here okay still not seeing any enemies just yet this uh green tile over there means there's something to search there searching is free um, but still, if I move them there, that's going to cost them their turn, and then they're going to be fully exposed. Why don't we get them in front of this barrier? Ah, oh, still not seeing any enemies. Wild. Alright. Well, if we're not seeing enemies, then I'll come over here and search this body. Shards and medical supplies. Very good. Okay, we're moving up. There's some stuff to, over there to search. Um, we now, our, our support has been kind of wasted. That's got a cooldown of three turns, so we're not gonna be able to use it again for a little while. I guess for now, we're just trying to like scout out this area and get some resources if we can. Okay, let's come over here and search this to scrap. Do much the same over here. More scrap, more stuff. We can do this. He's actually got a bonus for um, searching. He should probably be the one that's to search if he can. That's a good find. Good, decent. Um, come over here with our robot. We can't really see over there. I don't know if I think that's just the edge of the level. Not anything to worry about too much. Could come over here i don't want to come here just to push forward a bit oh, i'm not seeing any enemies it's like really concerning honestly i wonder well i mean there's i don't think there's anything over there let's come here search come over oh fusion core fusion cores are good they're really good um fusion cores will let you um kind of have one-off super attacks or they'll let you escape the level faster more on that later uh they have another effect uh, and they also let you revive your allies they're you know they're basically very powerful items and um they're they're quite rare so finding one is a very large boon i'll just uh keep moving again i don't really want to push our robot forward if i can avoid it Looting bonus ended. Right, we looted like three times in the same turn, so therefore we got some kind of bonus. Still not seeing any enemies. Wild. Okay, there, there are the enemies. I see all of them now. Rats. Yeah, no kidding. So, uh, that's what we're fighting in this game. We're fighting rats with guns. And unfortunately, that was her turn. Like, she's not going to get... I've, I've now taken everyone's turn. So, no one's going to get to go on Overwatch. And that's pretty much exactly what I was trying to avoid. But uh, I got impatient. So, now they're going to get to the element of surprise on us. They're going to get to take a, um opportune positioning. And maybe even take some shots on us. Oh, no, apparently they, they just took their positions. Good enough. Now, they can fire from where they are, so I'd prefer to be in a better position. 
but I'm not seeing any full cover spots. It's all half cover. So maybe what we should do um, is move back a little bit. I'm not sure. I think they have rifles. I'll move back a little bit and then I'll go in overwatch. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to go ahead and hunker our bot down for now. I'm not sure what overwatch all means. Every character with a non-overheated weapon enters overwatch. Oh, okay, that, that, that actually is exactly what I want. Oh, God. Okay, well, that was unexpected. I'm going to turn the sound back down a little bit. So Overwatch, I believe it works like in many other games, is they can't attack the same unit twice, but they can attack two different units. Okay, so um, we're at maximum heat, so we got to take a action point to vent our weapon. This is where that uh, the robot support comes in, you know, huge handy. In fact, might want to move our robot over here and then throw the, our support down. And then we'll move um, our sniper over here. That actually, that saves us having to vent our weapon. So that's, that's really good. We could do a quick shot, but I honestly think just doing another overwatch would be the thing to do. Um, so she is not, she has no protection right now. That's really not what we want. So uh, I'm kind of thinking this is risky, but I'm going to move over here and then put him in overwatch. In fact, we'll put everyone on overwatch. This is probably bad. But these guys are melee, so we know that we can at least hit them for free. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, he... Oh, he gets to take two shots, and that's three damage each. Our dude is almost dead. Oh my god, he almost died. He is almost dead. But he gets the retaliation because of the overwatch, I think. Oh, that is super lucky. Wow. So I just got like ridiculously lucky there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some stim packs. Th the stim pack heals them temporarily. So as soon as the combat is over, that orange health is going to disappear. So, it, you know, they I, I still have to like healing uh, units is not as simple as just like, oh, yeah, just go ahead and patch them up. No. This is a, they're, they're going to be damaged long term. So taking damage is, is actually very punishing in this. So let's have a look. Um, we have a 60% chance to kill that guy. That's not bad. Let's take that. Miss. We can take another shot. Okay, there we go. And that was actually a crit. Um, do we, we have a 54% chance to hit that lad why don't we go ahead and take that it's not great but we'll probably kill them if we hit them there we go we have an upgrade tile over there the upgrade tile oh no sorry not an upgrade tile we have a um it's a it's a chest the chest can only be opened by the robot but it generally speaking has very good stuff in it so um we're definitely going to want to make our way over there we've got more rats coming in our stress is being increased. Stress is another thing we have to kind of manage. Um, it's a difficult, uh, you know, basically like if it fully, if our, if the stress is um, like filled up completely, then they will either panic or they'll get some kind of debuff or like, it's just, it's just bad for business. Um, we're going to go ahead and exit support mode and uh, make our way over here. And at the very least we'll have cover against the rats up above. I thought I had more turns. They're taking their action points to move up. Um, no one is in a very good position right now. If I move them over here. I wonder if I, how much, uh, it's not, 
awful. It could be could be much better. But I'll take it. I'd rather have that than like move forward with nothing. Then we'll move our robot over here and open this up. Okay, so there's the upgrade thing. That's the thing I was thinking of. Um, you know, uh, our allies, our, our characters will level up from making kills. Um, but our robot only levels up if he uh, or they can up, um, get some upgrade parts or uh, get to this upgrade module. Okay, um, so I'd like to take some shots with our sniper, sniper rifle. Actually, uh, so they can take shots right now is the problem. Um, and the per the reason that's a problem is that they're like more likely to take shots than they are to move forward. So put going on Overwatch is not really going to do much for us. So we we have to actually try and and do some damage here. Similarly speaking, um, we we ought to move her forward. Uh, except I'm not really huge fan of where she is right now. Let's just move her over here and then uh Oh, I don't like I don't like what's happening here with this dude. Okay, let's move him forward. We got to get some people over there, otherwise they're just going to be able to take shots on us. They also have heat as well. It's it's worth mentioning. Oh, no, that's that's the stim pack gone. Is everyone going to take shots on that one dude? Yep. And now he's bleeding out. Oh, and the robot. Oh, that's very bad. Losing all HP does not mean a character is instantly dead. You can still revive them using a stim pack or fusion core. Consult the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's um, run over and... So she can't make it. She has just barely not enough movement points to get over there, which really sucks. We can do it anyway. Um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and use that fusion core and revive him. Does that mean he gets? Yeah, he gets a turn back, which is good. Wow, he's only got a 56% chance to, to hit this guy. That really sucks. What about a ground slam? Slam the ground with your heavy weapon. It ignores cover and always hits the AP cost depends on the movement instance to the target location. Okay, let's do that. Oh. He has to move over there. That was silly. Okay, well... Let's kill... Make sure he's dead. This is... This is... I'm, I'm making all kinds of horrible errors here. Plus 10 st uh, stress. Revive a character and score a kill with them in the same turn. Well, at least we're getting some rewards for our trouble here. Can we kill that guy? That would be really ideal. There we go. Um, okay, so let's... I'm gonna push our robot forward. It's probably not a good idea, but, you know... If we can get them to that upgrade module, that'd be good. There's our exit point. That's where we're trying to like ultimately finish. Um, can we reach that unit up there? Yeah, we can. We have a 50% chance to hit them. Unfortunately, we only have one shot and that might not kill them. So let, well, we'll take it, but oh, wow, we got lucky. My goodness. My goodness, that was lucky. Okay, let's um let's push everyone forward. We gotta we gotta move weapon hot. Yeah, okay, so we'll move them here and then we'll vent. Would also be good to, to heal them if I can. They're also um they also need to vent their weapon. So we'll do that and then move them forward. And we'll move our robot over here and start the upgrade process because it is not instantaneous. It's going to take at least a turn. I guess two. I'm hearing stuff. Uh-oh. Here they come. So, uh, I think the best idea 
our ideal situation here is let, let's just like push everyone around here that's going to force them to come out and we can probably gain the advantage with a uh, some decent overwatches oh unfortunately she's not going to make it so let's just like push her as far as she will go we know they can't attack in the same turn there's no way they're going to have the range to move and also hit her New level available after combat. Nice. And it also healed him. Let's just, um... I don't think that they can hit him, but I could be wrong about that. Let's just, like, put everyone in Overwatch. Actually, let's just double check that everyone's got, um, no, zero heat. Uh, what I might want to do... Uh, it's a bit risky I'm thinking why don't we just like just to be extra secure here I'm gonna move the robot here and put them in support mode and then I'm gonna try and move them over here and then put them in overwatch they'll get less overwatch but they won't increase their their uh, their heat and also we gain an extra cover bonus on that corner so that'll be better and um I can't quite get her over, so I may as well just put her in overwatch here. Okay, so that's one. Good. He's not going to get to attack as well. Oh, she he does get to attack, but she'll get retaliation maybe? Damn. Overwatch removed. Okay. That's a problem. So she's almost dead. She gets the retaliation though. That's only one damage. None of them moved forward. So if you give if you give these guys um, a you know an actual target, they'll take it over moving forward. They're they're smart in that regard. Um, let's uh, move her over here as much as she's not in a good space right now. Um, I'm gonna just have the robot stay there. I'm gonna put everyone on Overwatch again. She's really not in a good place maintain support mode everyone's hurt it all sucks oh, it would have been really good if that had killed him what do you mean oh vent oh, i thought i thought he was gonna get to like attack someone nice we got a kill on that so they're venting they're gonna push forward we might get another overwatch no overwatch that's fine let's just push push back Here's the bunker entrance. We don't seem to have any enemies over here, which is really good. We're not going to get enough, t a lot of time to um, search stuff, unfortunately. But I, I, like, I've really overextended my dudes. Can we, we can kill that lad. Um, let's go ahead and put them in Overwatch because I don't think I can reach that other rat. So may as well see if we can't, you know kill them at the very least same for her I think they're actually this is a pretty good position we're in right here in the meantime i'll have the sniper girl um maybe start the process of opening that bunker door so um you it takes about five turns to open these bunker doors which is a huge pain um we're actually in a pretty good position right now Let's, uh, I'm going to use another stim pack on the off chance we're caught off guard. Adrenaline rush. Yeah, probably not a great idea to be using so many of those. Okay, let's just, uh, run over here. This darkness over there might imply, it might be, mean that the enemies can actually spawn over there, which is really kind of spooky. Why don't we, like, while we're at it, just try and search for some stuff? Nothing found. Okay. I would be remiss if I didn't, um, take, take my opportunities when I have them. I wonder if the, can the robot search? Probably not, huh? Oh, yeah, they can. I did not know that. Looting spree. 
Yep, so enemies can spawn just from the darkness. Uh, I'm going to move this guy over here and then put him in overwatch. Um, we're going to move our robot over here. Get them as far back as we can. Let's start this process here. We do have an extra fusion core, but you really want to save those if you can. So I'm going to try and escape normally. And I'm just going to have our girl here. Um, not Sorry, not Overwatch. Search stuff. We got a grenade. This is good. We got medical supplies. This is very good. All right, cool. Oh, nice. Extra kill. All right, so they can reach him now, and they probably will if they can. So I'm going to go ahead and have him back up and then enter Overwatch again. Problem is that he... Well, okay, he's only got the one AP left, the one Overwatch, so it doesn't matter about the heat. Um... Let's have her move forward so that she's got the cover and then have her enter overwatch That's probably gonna be a pretty good one and then we'll have the robot actually come over here and then provide her extra um, support And I'm also just I'm just gonna continue searching if I possibly can extra grenade. That's great Stim pack fantastic Wow, that's a decent overwatch. And we got the kill. Fantastic. Wow. Oh, that was fantastic. All right. So we can pretty much just like move, push everyone towards the door. Um, you do have to actually have them escape. Like you have to get them to the bunker and then like escape. So, you know. It's, it's one thing opening the door and then it's another thing like actually getting them out. But we're in a pretty good position. Honestly, if we just like wait here and put everyone in Overwatch, then uh, I think I think we'll be okay. Let's just, um, let's just put them in Overwatch here. Like I was, I was thinking, well, the, she might be better off if she can also get in that support zone. So the only thing like if they spawn some more enemies like right next to me that would be really cruel okay that's okay i can handle that so the only one that needs to move is her and then let's just put everyone in overwatch perfect keep that support up and as soon as they come in we'll probably like destroy them Clean kill, well done. Nice, and no one is gaining any heat. Another, another overwatch. No kill, unfortunately. There's the door unlocked, so we can escape on the next turn. Kind of want to get a, a kill before we move on. Because that's extra XP, I'm pretty sure. So let's get that kill. I guess that counts as her full turn. Right, because she's a sniper. I should have attacked with basically anyone else. So let's escape with her. Um, stop, exit support mode. Leave. Want to escape with the uh, the droid at the very least because they, um, they are a, a fail condition. So I'm a little bit worried for her, but I think she'll be fine because they don't have enough AP to actually get to her. Okay, and then we'll just run over here and escape, and that's it. Very nice. I'll, I'll show a little bit of the between levels, and then I'm pretty much going to end it there. Um, I mean, like, uh, more more to say on this is, uh, like, you know, you are going to be leveling up your characters, and there is some resource management. Um, but I took a lot of damage here. We're gonna see what the kind of long-term ramification uh, The long-term ramifications of that are 
select icon to go into greater detail no 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 we're, we're good please please move on okay cool um so we can upgrade our support unit i already gave them uh i upgraded that support aoe because i liked it a lot but we could also give them a stun grenade throw a stun grenade at a specific location every character caught in it its area of effect becomes stunned and loses the next turn so that could be really good and it's got a cooldown so this is something we can use multiple times uh dynamo bur uh, boost gain plus four movement range on the next turn force all enemies to target this unit during their next turn i don't think i like that for our fail condition uh and then this is like basically just like gain some extra def defense um i kind of like the idea of this stun grenade so i'm gonna take that and then um for our character here i can't i don't know what her name is it's kind of hidden behind this extra stuff here can now upgrade a skill um sharpen the katana this is a between round thing yeah so like you can sharpen your katana um as we'll, we'll get into that we'll see what that looks like uh repairing automatons in combat does not cost a fusion core this is something i gave them as a bonus let's give them katana bonus or combo this is gonna when activated the first um katana kill this term is refunded up to two ap so she she likes to be melee more than like a, a gun user and melee has no chance for fail so you can't miss on a melee attack there's a definite bonus or benefit to doing melee so not everyone leveled up it, it definitely feels like it's based on kills so whoever you like favor you're gonna get more um you know xp for they never attacked with such ferociousness before so here's our uh, unspent upgrade points. These are the things that we got out of that crate when we opened that crate with the, the robot. So let's go ahead and uh, use those. We can um, install new modifications or improve previous modifications. So this is one I added after the first level to um, our sort of basic, actually Katana user is uh, we improved their damage. So I can either improve that again, that will cost two upgrade points to do or we can add a new one um, for, I think, only one. But, uh, you know, we could maybe add a modification to a weapon that someone else is using. So, for instance, our character here, we could give them some extra accuracy or damage. I like the idea of giving them some accuracy, so let's go ahead and throw that on them. And we can even install modifications on the robot. Like, for instance, in increase the dodge chance would be really good. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we get these medals, as I say, from um, unlock uh, getting achievements, and this is going to give us some like skills and uh, what is it? Weapon upgrade unlocks increases the cell capacity, reduces the weapon's overheat chance, makes this upgrade. Of okay, so this uh, these are like permanent kind of meta progression um, upgrades. Grants free weapon vents during every combat. So these are up like once I unlock this, this is gonna make this upgrade available. Uh, maybe in this playthrough, but also future playthroughs. Interesting that you can unlock it while you're playing a playthrough. I think that's kind of strange in some ways. So like, why would you, for instance, take a character upgrade? Playable and allows them to appear as a rescuable character. Okay, so it does actually make them available in this playthrough. So these are extra characters that I could potentially start the game with, but I can also find them in this in this playthrough. Team skill unlocks. Makes the team skill available for upgrade. So I don't know. Um, I, I don't think it matters too much. I don't know if there's like some kind of crazy meta or, or like way to, to optimize this where it's like, oh yeah, you got to take these three skills. All stress reducing skills in, used in a shelter reduce more stress well actually that is like kind of right away very good that's a free action to temporarily boost the movement range of characters uh, i guess again these um these are team skills that become available i'm not unlocking them right now i'm unlocking the uh the uh, uh potential or the opportunity to get them um so like here's our actual team skills right so if i got this common collected i think it would uh yeah, it's going to improve our stress. So I just unlocked this upgrade, but I didn't actually gain it. It's hard, you know, hard to kind of explain that, but I, I think I 
It's so improved bunker breaching. Breach breaching the bunker door takes four turns instead of five. That would be really decent, actually. Let's take that. Um, the codex really likes to highlight, and I, I think that this is something I am not a huge fan of. Is like, it really wants to explain everything. It wants you to look through this codex, but I think I, you know, I, I kind of get it. Maybe I don't get it, but it's something I'd like to, you know, uh, have as an option. You know, maybe like just kind of have a button that says, "Yeah, I get it. I'll, I'll have a look at it later um, when things are relevant." But this this likes to flash basically forever. Um, and it does actually kind of get in, in the way of certain interface things. So between combats, we have action points. Um, we're we're kind of taking turns. This kind of reminds me of that. Uh, I think the, the game was called The Gods Are Watching or something. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But we're taking um, action points to kind of uh, collect resources and um, do a little bit of um, planning for the next combat. So something we're probably going to do right away is we're going to want to search the crates in our current safe spot. And this is going to give us things like medical supplies that's going to allow us to recover. And we definitely need to recover. So like our dude here, we need to heal him. This is going to heal him 3 HP that costs four medical supplies. So the medical supplies we find in combat and also out of combat is going to help us recover between combats. And, you know, that's... Uh, I, it seems to me like the thing we're going to want to prioritize the most. So uh, let's definitely use that to recover our units. We could craft a grenade. Um, this will also cost us an AP, uh, but it will also cost us resources. I don't tend to use the katana, but I guess it's something I should do. You can spend an AP to have this character um, sharpen her blade. So like each character has like very specific things to their character. So like... Um, Mycroft here, he has the ability to search uh, other stashes and find more supplies. It seems like a really good thing. We got extra grenades. That was definitely worth more than spending an AP to craft one grenade. Um, we can also check on their stress level. So they're at two or zero, two and zero. So we don't have to worry about stress too much. So I think we could spare a um, point to sharpen the katana. And then we have to distribute food. We can see um, food supplies. We have five right now. And um, distributing them is going to mean that everyone recovers one HP. I, I think you can only distribute one. Um, if they're at full HP, they'll actually gain a dodge bonus, which is kind of nice. So there's a reason to give someone food, even if they're at full health. So, you know, we, we've recovered. Um, new vermin activity, rat assassins. An extra rat assassin is guaranteed on every mission. Oof. So um, I have mentioned my kind of, uh, I don't know, dislike for uh, specifically this kind of looking roadmap. But I think that the, this game does it well. For one thing, it makes it a flavor thing, which I kind of appreciate. Like we're moving through the city and that that looks represented. I almost wish that um, maybe a little bit of extra care was taken to make it look like the uh, it's actually following the curvature of the city a little bit. But, uh, you know, that's a very small nitpick. But at least it, it feels a little bit more um, flavored than a lot of other roguelikes where you're, um, you know, kind of like just selecting between two very arbitrary and ab uh, abstract things. And uh, since we can actually like see what the cities are and since or, or the, the portions of the city and we can see what kind of extra things are going to be available there, they, these this does feel like a bit more of a choice. Um, but, you know, still, I have to kind of, um, you know, I guess offer a criticism towards the just like this is this is felt tired and it's still feeling tired. I feel like there's there's got to be other ways of just like um, showing a, like we're trying to get between point A and point B and then there's just like, um, you know, arbitrary cho choices. But uh, it feels like a nitpick. I guess th like we've established this wheel so everyone has decided that we don't need to reinvent it. And that's fine. Um, you know, I, it's I guess a personal thing that I'd like to see more games try and shake up this format. Um, but either way, I, you know, like it's, it's a nitpick. Fewer vermin, fewer enemies are present at this location and reinforcements appear more slowly. 
Special encounter. A special encounter with an extra award. Reward awaits you here. Uh, and in longer distance, it will take more time to reach the exit. So you can kind of see the, the decisions you're going to be making. But uh, I am going to leave it there because the next mission is going to look very similar to the one I just did. And so we've got um, kind of our, our, we've gotten a taste of the combat and we've also gotten a taste of what's between combats looks like. And so we have a pretty good idea of what this kind of game is. Um, and uh, maybe you have a good idea of if you want to pick it up or not. If you have played this, um, then definitely let, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.